Good evening, fellow. Today I'm going to tell you how to enable the shared point integration for Dynamic 365. Just come to Dynamic 365 page and just click on that your left nine dot and just you can see here it is a shared point. Just open the shared point the new tab. Now create the one new site. So why I'm creating? I'm just telling you later. I'm just creating for P demo. I have created one site. Now I'll just next. If you wanted to give the additional information, additional ownership for a specific member, you can add that member name. I'm just finishing this one. Now keep as it is here. Now just come to the CRM. Now just go for the setting. Under the setting, we have advanced setting. Just click on advanced setting. That advanced setting, we need to drop down. We have a document management. Just click on the document management. Now we have a configure server based in SharePoint integration. Just we need to click here. Now keep in mind, remember, once we set up everything, this option will go away. It should not be exist longer. Just click on that configuration, SharePoint integration. See, define the deployment. Now it will ask you whether we are using on premise and online. So as we, as you know, I'm using Dynamic 365, which is online. So just click on next. Now here you have to specify that particular SharePoint URL. Just go for the SharePoint, which we have defined just now. See, this is our SharePoint site. Now in this SharePoint site, we have this one is the site. Now copy this link. I have already copied this one. Just go for document management. Okay, I have opened already one. And here you need to specify that you uh, are point URL. Now, make sure you need to remove all the unwanted name here. Now, team demo, up to the team demo. Just click next. Now, it will give you whether it is uh, this URL is valid or not. If it is a valid, it will give you success message. You can see here. Uh, yeah, just click and finish. Now, once you finish it, see, before it was SharePoint enabling integration with uh, SharePoint integration was there enabling SharePoint integration. Now it is not there because it is not longer exist in here. Now just go for document management setting. Click on the document management setting. Now you need to select that particular entity. So which entity you want to which entity under that you need to create that uh, create that folder. Now here I'll just show you under which entity we are going, whether it is a case, whether it is account, whether it is contact. Now here I'll just, just selecting as a case one. I just select as a case. Only case entity I need. And I specify that URL and remove all things unwanted. Now just click on next. Once you click on the next, now it will ask for based entity. Now, this is the based on from which pattern it should be created. Like if you select as the account and account, let's assume you have created, you have selected as an account. Now you are going to create. Now, once you create any new account, this account under that account name, like this is the folder under that subfolder, it should be created. Now, here I'm selecting none because I don't want this pattern. I just want whenever my case is created under that case, that whenever I create a new case, that case should be present under that particular case format, like case one folder should be present in a SharePoint. Under that, we have created subfolder, uh, subfolder, like whenever we are creating new case, like test one, two, three. So test one, two, three, under that case folder. I'll just show you, just click on the next. Now see, document library are being created at the path of this one. This is the path that the team site I have just now before before saying that I have created a team site in a SharePoint. Just click OK. Now you see here it is. I'm getting succeed message. Now just finish it. OK, I have already done finished it and just go for the DCRM. Now creating a new case here. Now I'm creating a new case like uh, paste 678 and account, save it. Now I have created one case, just go for three dot here, just document uh, like as a demo purpose, I'm just uploading one document here. Now you can see documents on 
default site is available. Now I am as for demo purpose, I'm just uploading one document here. Now, once the document is updated, just go for the your SharePoint site. You can see. In the SharePoint site under the site content. See, under that site content, we have a case. Now just click on that case. Now see, there's 678 with a GUID with folder. It's created. Now see, this is the GUID. Now this is the folder created. Yeah. So that's it for your video. Do you have any question? Please let me know. If there is any suggestion for me thank you thank you so much